Hi, peanut gardeners. Since it was fairy tale week, I decided to read to you one of my favorite fractured fairy tales. Fractured fairy tale means they took a regular story and the author switched it up a bit to make it a little silly. This one is called Ninja Red Riding Hood instead of just Red Riding Hood. And Miss Patterson actually gave this as a birthday gift to Isabel. So it's a special book in this house. I'm gonna read you Ninja Red Riding Hood. Once upon a ninja-filled time, a wolf couldn't catch any prey. He kept getting licked by the dinner he picked and was growing more ticked by the day. He was getting beat up by all these people he tried to get. His belly was aching for bacon. I'm wasting away, he complained. To huff and to puff was no longer enough. So he snuck into school to be trained. He practiced his katyas for hours and mastered the whirlwind and wheel. He jackknifed and flipped and at last felt equipped to once again catch a good meal. Drooling with anticipation, he set off in search of some meat. While deep in the wood, he met, Red, he met Riding Hood. I'm bringing my grandma a treat. The wolf licked his chops when he saw her and hastily thought up a plan. There are blossoms that way you can pick up okay to give to your little old gran. Then the wolf took a shortcut to grandma's where he thought that he'd find her in bed. But granny was gone, so he put her robe on and eagerly waited for red. So far it sounds kind of familiar to the story you know, huh? Soon after, he heard someone knocking. He called out, My dear, come in. Oh, don't, you don't look good in your lovely... Oh, don't you look good in your lovely red hood, but a shame that you've gotten so thin. Little Red took a look at her granny and said, What on earth did you do? I could swear that your eyes have completely changed size. Hey, Gran, are you sure that it's you? Of course it is me, my sweet darling. The better to see you, my dear. And your ears are so long. Something really seems wrong. Oh, my girl, all the better to hear. And these biceps, my gosh, they look massive. And your triceps and delts are immense. The better for hugging, her grandma said, shrugging. Dear Red, that's just plain common sense. And those teeth, they look so much sharper. Why, yes, all the better to chew. He jumped out of bed to gobble up Red, but, see the dot, dot, dots? Something's about to happen. What do you think it is? She'd gone to ninja school, too. She grappled and sideswiped and twisted and escaped from his clutches unscratched. She attempted a lock, but he managed to block. They appeared to be evenly matched. Just then, they both heard someone chopping. A woodsman, Red thought, but instead... It was Gran in her gi. She'd just come from Tai Chi. Don't you dare harm a hair on her head. <laughs> the wolf took a swing at that instant, but Red deftly dodged the attack. Attack. She got a good grip, threw him over her hip, and the wolf wound up flat on his back. I'll skedaddle, the wolf said in anguish as he struggled back up to his feet. Just a second, you beast. You will not be released till you promise to give up red meat. Though his tummy still rumbled with hunger, the wolf faced his rival and vowed, Ninja Red, you have won. My meat days are done. Oh, Red Chan, said Gran, I'm so proud. Then Red and the wolf bowed politely, and Gran gave him half her peach pie. The wolf was a mess. He'd had way too much stress. 
I guess I'll give yoga a try. He enrolled at the Downward Dog Center where his tension began to decrease. He studied with yogis, said no to meat hoagies, and felt at last truly at peace. <laughs> Was that a good story? Just a little bit different than the regular Red Riding Hood, right? Hope you guys have a great weekend. I love you and I miss you and I'm excited for next week's theme of Down at the Farm. See you there, cowgirls and cowboys.